So seven months ago, I quit my programming job to take a leap of faith and go all in on YouTube. And after uploading more than 20 videos without seeing huge results, I thought that quitting my job was the worst decision I had ever made. But after reflecting on it more deeply and sharing my concerns with my girlfriend, I actually learned something very valuable. You see, I started this YouTube channel in 2020. Back then I created programming tutorials and I did that in my evenings after work or in my weekends. Now I slowly shifted to self-improvement videos and for years I was pretty consistent with creating all these videos. I was basically trying to improve a bit every single day. Now back then I wasn't aware of it, but this is actually something that James Clear popularized. If you get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better by the time you're done. Now I absolutely think that that is true, but I also learned that having periods of intensity is extremely useful, especially when you're learning something new. I mean, even though I'm currently not seeing the results I hoped for, I definitely learned a lot and I wouldn't have learned it this quickly if I hadn't quit my job and gone all in. So for anyone that wants to try something different in life, here's lesson number one. To become good at something, you need to put in the work. And it often requires a period of intensity, maybe even being a bit obsessed with it. But there's more. I actually quit my job without having an additional income stream. And I know that most people won't recommend this. They recommend you to quit your job only if you have another income stream. And to be honest, I partially agree with this because having no income stream results in a lot of stress that I can now tell you from my own experience. But on the other hand, Everything in life is based around sacrifices and the sacrifice that costs nothing is worth nothing. So I still think that you must not overcomplicate things. I think the simplified formula for success is do a bit of research up front, then be realistic about what you are trying to accomplish and if it feels good, just start. But being realistic is a must. I mean, I would love to be a professional football player, but I'm 35 now and unfortunately unfortunately and unfortunately i'm not that talented i have a feet injury so becoming a football player is simply not realistic but on the other hand becoming a successful youtuber is tough but i think it's not impossible so don't overcomplicate things just start and learn as you go i mean i've learned so much compared to seven months ago and i wouldn't have learned all of this if i didn't quit my job and took a leap of faith so lesson number two don't overcomplicate just start and learn as you go now when i first started my youtube journey every day felt like a blessing and i was really loving it but after a while this started to change a bit i mean i still enjoy it but now it starts to feel a bit more like work and with work i actually mean voluntary work because it pays me almost nothing <laughs> anyway what i'm trying to say is just when i had a regular job there were days that i was not really in the mood for it especially after a holiday I always had this feeling like, is this what life is all about? I just want to enjoy nature and spend time with my loved ones. But interestingly enough, a couple of months ago, I went on vacation to Thailand. And when I came back, I was actually having the exact same feeling. Cheers. Even though this YouTube journey is more or less a passion project. So the point that I wanted to make is that even when you're doing something that you love, there comes a time when it starts to feel like a regular job. And there are days when you don't really want to do it, but you still force yourself to do it. So lesson three, it's an illusion to expect that you will enjoy doing something every single day, even if it's something you love. So that was it, my seven month update. Now, if you are curious about my four month update, then you should watch this video here. And if you are curious why I quit my job in the first place, then you should watch this video here. And if you want to support me a bit, then you should like this video here. And don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel. Now I see you in the next one. Cheers.